these are the top five best gaming laptops that I've tested in 2023. Let's start out with number five and work our way down to the best. Starting with the ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16. This is a premium feeling gaming laptop with a thinner design. Compared to last year's version, they've added a third fan to improve thermals, improved upgrade options by going to two memory slots instead of one, and the new mini LED screen this year looks great. The keyboard can get warm in the middle while gaming, but the WASD area feels cool. At least with the RTX 4070 config that we tested. And I wouldn't recommend going above the 4070 in the M16's thinner chassis. Fellow tech reviewer Just Josh had the RTX 4090 config, which runs louder and hotter. Sticking more power into a thinner design like this just isn't a great idea. Not to mention, it costs way more money compared to better performing 4090 laptops. Like Lenovo's Legion Pro 7i, which is up next at number four. It's a little bigger compared to the M16, so slightly less portable, but that means there's more room for cooling and higher performance. Not to mention the RGB light bar on the front, which means more FPS in games. Can't say that with a straight face. It does look kind of cool though, and if it's not your thing, well, you can just turn it off. But nah, give me that RGB. Its screen isn't mini LED like the M16, but it still looks great. The build quality on this thing just feels solid. And it was actually the most popular gaming laptop that viewers of this channel bought this year. So it seems like you guys have been loving it. Now, to be fair, Lenovo did move a bunch of nice features from last year's Legion 7 away from this model to save them up for their new higher tier Legion 9, which kind of sucks, but I guess it would have resulted in a much higher price tag. And and the RTX 4080 version of this thing has certainly had some good sales recently. Despite less features compared to last gen, it's still good relatively speaking compared to other 2023 gaming laptops. And apart from all that RGB lighting, it's not actually all that much different compared to the cheaper Legion Pro 5i, which I also rate quite highly. But if you're after an even cheaper option, then I've really got to give it to Lenovo's Legion Slim 5, which comes in at third place. Lenovo have two different versions of the Slim 5, but they're completely different. There's this 14-inch version with an OLED screen, which is my favorite 14-inch gaming laptop this year. What's cool about it is both CPU performance and FPS in games is the same as the larger 16 inch model, so you're not losing performance going for this smaller 14 inch model. I just love its portability, the OLED screen, and there's lots of battery life. The only problem I have with it is that the memory is soldered and cannot be upgraded. But the trade-off is it's the only 14-inch gaming laptop with two M.2 slots. But there's also the bigger and cheaper 16-inch version. Though despite being called a Slim 5, this is a refresh of the popular Legion 5 from the last few years. I've got no idea why they added Slim into its name. Because it's not what I'd call a Slim laptop especially when compared to the 14-inch version or the higher tier Legion Slim 7. Compared to the 14-inch Slim 5, unfortunately, the 16-inch does not have OLED, but the screen is larger. But the 16-inch has more space for upgradable memory and a numpad, so perfect for those Microsoft Excel esports players. The 16-inch model with RTX 4060 graphics is on sale for just $8.99 during Black Friday, which is honestly a steal. Check it out on our GamingLaptop.Deals website as soon as possible to see if it's still available. Link below. And even if it's not still available, we update that site every day so that you can save the most amount of money on your next gaming laptop. Next up in second place, we've got the ASUS ROG Strix G16. I thought that this was one of the best gaming laptops all year. We just didn't have any problems with it. It worked great and has nice features, like advanced Optimus and G-Sync, high CPU and GPU power limits for good FPS in games, and of course, most importantly of all, an RGB light bar on the front. My only problem with it is it's almost always way too expensive. Fortunately, it went on sale for $1,100 while I was making this video, which is way more reasonable. If the ASUS Strix G16 doesn't come down to a reasonable price, then 
Lenovo's Slim 5 16 inch is definitely the way to go as far as mid range gaming laptops are concerned. That $900 sale for the RTX 4060 is just crazy stuff. Fortunately, the best gaming laptop of 2023 is priced much better, and that's because it's a more budget friendly design. So it might not look quite as slick as some of those models covered earlier with their flashy RGB light bars, but it's got a lot to offer for the price, which is just as good. And I'm of course talking about Lenovo's Lock series, either the 15 or 16, which are basically the same just with different screen sizes. We've got the Lock 15 with RTX 4050 graphics on our gaming laptop dot deals website for just $700 at the moment. Again, link below, which is the lowest we've ever seen for a full powered 4050 gaming laptop. Just last year, 700 bucks would get you an RTX 3050 or 3050 Ti gaming laptop. The 4050 is like 38% faster in games, has 50% more VRAM, which will be nice in the future, and gets you newer features like DLSS 3. Not to mention, Lenovo's Lock has premium features that way more expensive laptops are missing, like Advanced Optimus and even G-Sync, if you stay away from the 60Hz screen. Seriously, even MSI's $5,000 top of the line GT77 is missing those features for some reason. I appreciate the lock's cleaner design that doesn't scream I'm a gaming laptop, and the all plastic build quality feels nicer compared to competitors at this price point. The lock is just a great option for those that can't afford the mid to high end options mentioned earlier. And honestly, most of these laptops are so good that I could easily mix the list up and it wouldn't really matter. They're all pretty awesome, but what about other brands like MSI, Dell, Alienware, Razer, Gigabyte, or HP. They just didn't make it into my top 5 this year. But you can see where they all fit with this video next, where I've ranked all 34 gaming laptops tested this year from best to worst using a tier list. There's way more explanation in that more detailed video, so I'll see you in that one next.